Okay, hello everyone, this is OK here, and we're playing um, a game of uh, Crazy House 960 in uh, the Team Crazy House League. Um, and I'm up against Flourish, we're going to play two games of 7 plus 7. Um, so what do we think of this position? Um, we need to develop the Queen fast. We need to make sure what's, what squares are unprotected, no squares unprotected. Could do this, although uh, could also do this and this, but also need to develop the bishop, I, th I feel, in this kind of position. So maybe this and get the knight out. Um, so I'm going to go here. Okay, so so this will just okay. I quite like developing the bishop. Uh, this just and maybe develop the knight towards the center. Got to try and um, yeah. It would have been better to put a bishop there. Now I think about it, but that wasn't so easy. How to put the bishop there? Um, maybe just get the knight out, but I'm still, maybe this square is sensitive. Yes, so that square is a little bit sensitive. He can't go here, so maybe just to stop this knight here, just to go knight here. Um, and I'm... I feel like I'm playing really quickly, even though I'm 30 seconds down on the clock. I mean, my focus is just to try and develop quickly. I, I do have this move, which is interesting. He can defend with the rook, but then he can never castle. So the question is, is that worthwhile? Um, knight here. So how does he defend? He could defend with the rook, but then I've got knight here, takes, takes. He could also counterattack with knight here, but knight takes pawn check comes first. So maybe I've got an idea of going here and here. Of course, by doing this, this square has become slightly weakened. So the only reason I did this is I reckon it's quite hard to defend this square. Maybe rook here defends it. Um, and he does play that. Okay, so the thing is he can do the same thing to me. Um, and I can go here. So if knight takes bishop, pawn takes, it's fine. Suppose I sack, knight takes pawn, rook takes, bishop takes, queen takes. I get a pawn and a rook, which is just no good, no good at all. Um, so the other idea is hitting the rook like so. Takes, bishop takes. Um, and then he has a knight in hand which he could put here, but then I could put a knight in hand here. Uh, so he could also counterattack, but knight takes rook comes first, does it? He could counterattack like so, but I've got knight takes rook, knight takes pawn, knight takes rook, knight takes pawn. Hmm. So the question is, do I defend with e3, bishop f3, or do I go straight in for an attack? So if I go straight in for attack, suppose he does the same thing to me. And I go knight takes rook, knight takes pawn check, just king out. Hmm. 
And then the question is, do I take back with the bishop? Then I'm hitting the knight again. I think I take back with the bishop if he takes this. Okay, so what's his threat? I still got knight. Oh, I see. I haven't actually achieved much. Not achieved that much. Um, so, in the meantime, what's he threatening? Maybe a sack on here. I could take my queen out, uh, although it could be hit with tempo. So I could take my queen out. Uh, what would he do then? He could hit it with... No, he can't really hit it with tempo because I can just back off. Um, so what can he actually do with the knight? Knight here, knight here, I feel... I'm so worried about missing something here, but... I could go knight takes pawn. Check. Rook takes. Bishop takes. Pawn takes queen. Maybe he has a knight in hand, so it's kind of dangerous. So knight takes pawn, rook takes, which takes rook, pawn takes queen. Oh my goodness, that, that seems insane. Um, So I just throw in the check. So take this. So he does have knight takes rook. Or that, but now I'm winning the queen as well. Okay, I've got to be careful about winning the queen because he does have pawn here, but I just have to, I, I can just take it. Uh what else do I have? Um, I've even got queen takes pawn, incidentally. Um, but as long as I'm not mated, I think this is going to be very strong. Um, because any pawn check, I just take it. So the king is defended. What piece did he even take with the, with the knight? He took a rook. Yeah. So notice how I, I've I really let my time run down, um, even though I've I, I've been attempting to play extremely quickly. I haven't quite got the the bullet fingers. I could have gone queen takes pawn, but I'm going this way. Um, what does he have? Takes takes the queen, so I'm threatening queen here and pawn here checkmate. So he has to defend. Uh, but I'm also threatening knight here check and queen here checkmate. So there are three squares he has to defend, which is which is impossible. I mean, actually, something like rook there is interesting. Okay, so if I go pawn here, check, takes, knight here, check, comes up. Okay, let's just draw him out. Knight here, check, comes up, and then queen here, check, uh, will force him to here, and then queen here, checkmate. If he dodges, obviously that's no good either. 
just got to make sure that the, the checking piece is not getting taken. Oh, the checking piece is getting taken. What am I doing? Oh, he didn't take it. Um, so queen here. Check, takes, takes, king. Hmm, so queen here, check, takes, takes, king here, rook here. Uh, oh, well, queen takes pawn, check. Okay, this this is mate, it's just uh, calculating it. So queen there, check. If he just dodges, um, queen takes pawn, check. Uh, why am I not seeing this? Uh, okay, I'm just going to do this. But I, I'm, I'm annoyed with myself because I'm not seeing the mate. Um, so why am I not seeing the mate? Um, Got to be careful. So he just does this, okay. Oh my god, why can't I see the mate? So queen takes pawn, he could just block. It's very frustrating, I can't see mate. I could just take the rook, but where's my mate? Queen takes pawn, he blocks with the knight is the problem. So queen takes rook, does that even threaten mate? Um... If I do this, I can't see the mate. This is just annoying. If I go queen takes pawn, he blocks. Takes, takes. Just don't take the rook. He's got two knights. I'm, <laughs> I'm just like, why can't I see the mate? Um, so do, it's not deflect defender, there aren't any defenders, so that's, that's not the issue. It's a uh, magnet mate, maybe a magnet mate. So my knight is somehow defending him, yes, yes, that's what it is, yes, it's a magnet mate. So my threat is rook here check, king takes, knight here check, king back, queen here checkmate, yes, yes, yes. Okay. But what if rook here check, better, king here, knight here check, he could take with the bishop, but queen here is still checkmate. Okay, so it's quite key for him to defend this square. Okay, okay, okay. So rook here check, if he does this, then rook takes knight. So rook here check, yeah, this will work. Rook here check. King takes, so I just win a knight. Then knight check, and then checkmate. But this is very ner nerve-wracking, um, not being able to see the mate accurately. And of course he was threatening knight takes pawn and beginning his own counterattack. Okay, he's doing this. Um, okay. So if I go here, check... What if I just go rook takes knight? Yeah, rook takes knight. Feels good. It's a check. Um, followed by knight here, bishop takes, queen here, checkmate. Bishop takes, but queen here is still checkmate. Phew! So we can do the rematch offer. Um, Okay, I'm a bundle of nerves after that game. So what I was thinking is... This square is sensitive. Getting the queen out was important. He's trying to stop this, this pawn move, that's interesting. Uh, but this pawn is slightly weak. I'm thinking of going pawn here. Uh, but I've got to be careful of developing. Okay. So 
So if I go knight here, he'll probably push. So we saw this is a sensitive square in a way, in this position. And yeah, getting this knight out is important, but also getting the queen out. Um, so this is a sensitive square, that's what I have to be a little bit wary of. Okay, the pawn is, is uh, interesting. This pawn is interesting. I could attack it with a knight, um, and then attack it again. So I think I'll do that. Feels like a developing move. Okay, and so by doing that, he's restricting his own knight a little bit. So that's quite nice. Um, f4 or f5? Got to be careful of the long diagonal. I'm thinking f5, e6, get the bishop out. So it's just f5, takes, 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 takes. Yeah, f5 feels correct. Now, he could just push. He could just push that pawn, and then I could push again. So if he pushes, pushes, takes, takes. Takes is the worry. Pushes, pushes, takes, takes, takes. Okay, so we didn't see that variation. So knight takes. Seems clear. So we have an active rook, but it can be hit with tempo. But it has ideas. Hmm, interesting. I mean, I have queen here, check, or I have rook here, check, which is easy to block. Time, time. Um, so if queen here, check, he just blocks it. Okay. Rook here, not so good. Could just defend with the pawn. I feel like there's something here. Okay. Um... Defending with the pawn feels cur feels good. Defending with the queen is sort of self-pinning. Um, so he, he, he just blocks somewhere. Um, probably blocks here, maybe even just does knight here. Uh, but maybe just blocks with the pawn. But then if he blocks with the pawn, it's not such a bad thing. I'm just worried I messed up my development then if he does that. If he does that, then knight here. Okay, let's do this. He does, and knight here. I need to get, make sure my pieces are developing nicely. So if Pish takes Rook, maybe Knight takes. Maybe Knight takes Pawn and then Queen takes. Maybe Queen takes. Maybe I should have, shouldn't have just self-pinned myself. Rook takes Pawn. Rook takes pawn, the problem is queen takes. Okay, so rook takes pawn, queen takes. Okay, this is a slight issue. Um, rook takes pawn, queen takes, queen takes bishop, queen, queen f8, checkmate. So, um, pawn here. 
not so not so not so much of a fan of that. Uh, so the problem with pawn here is just yeah, so it doesn't work. Okay. Um, I need to somehow castle, but castling's not on the cards. Uh, so in the meantime, everything is slightly hanging. Um, F5. If bishop takes rook, queen takes bishop. If queen takes rook, knight takes bishop. Rook on the back rank doesn't exist. Okay, f5. So we're just playing really for active pieces, going for an active. Bishop, if pawn takes knight, he is opening up this file. So, so I could just go pawn takes pawn. So I'm going definitely for, for activity as opposed to material. If bishop takes rook, knight takes, and notice the queen is covering the check on the back rank. So that's quite important. So I'm, I'm just really going for the going for the throat a bit. And it's, it's my style of play, really, in Crazy House. Just go for it. In a way, it's Flores' style of play as well. So I, I didn't don't need to be quite so aggressive, but Okay, I really want rook takes pawn, but queen takes is too much of an issue. Um, rook takes pawn, queen takes, yeah. Uh, if pawn takes pawn, bishop takes knight, this is an issue here. Pawn takes pawn, also rook takes pawn, suddenly he's all developed. But if bishop here, then pawn takes pawn, bishop takes pawn, yeah, then that's not so good. But uh, it's an idea. It's an idea. Um, what else could I do? So his his bishop, his long diagonal is really waking up, um, and that's actually a bit of a worry. Um, if knight takes here, what else could I do? Pawn takes pawn takes pawn, rook takes pawn, and return. Pawn takes pawn, rook takes pawn, return the pawn here. Uh, but if pawn takes pawn, pawn takes knight. Or bishop takes knight, yeah, that's the problem. Um, down to two minutes. Okay, so pawn takes pawn, bishop takes knight is the real issue. Um, so maybe I need to sack on here first. Knight takes pawn. Oh, rook takes pawn, defends the bishop. Oof. Well, that's un that's in that's inconvenient. Uh, but. My idea is get all my pieces onto this file on the king. Yeah, good move. So if rook here check, just simply pawn here. If uh, queen here check, again, just simply pawn there is quite powerful. Uh, What if rook, rook, hmm, what if I get my bishop out and attack his rook? If bishop takes rook. So rook here check, rook here check, blocks. 
uh, time is an issue. Uh, queen here check. Maybe rook here check first. It's just going to block here. But at least that blocks up his his bishop somewhat. Oh, he does this. Oh, oh, oh. So if I do this... So I'm threatening rook here check and takes knight, which will be mating. So that's a, a very serious threat. He just puts a pawn here though, but then I have bishop here. Oh my goodness, he doesn't check. Okay, he goes this way, uh, so now rook takes knight is an option. Pawn here is not an option, so rook takes knight. He does this way. Um, So if I go queen here, check, he he just, he does have a block. Um, <clears throat> and if I go, so in the meantime, this is always a risk. Uh, so if I just go rook here, check, because the queen for now, Yeah, this, this should be fine. Uh, I didn't need to worry about this. So... Queen takes rook is his threat. Queen takes... this is obviously a mate threat. Hard to defend both, in the meantime checks on the king are basically defended and his queen never entered the game. So knight here, me is reasonable, but I take here, or I take the knight. Bishop takes knight is strong. Uh, knight here, bishop takes knight, maybe, or queen takes rook. Uh, queen takes rook, he does get knight checks though. So yeah, he has to defend here, maybe knight here, queen takes rook. Then knight here, check, and hope he doesn't have anything. What else could there be? Queen takes pawn is risky. Yeah, I don't see any follow-up there. Just queen takes rook. So he goes for this, which is desperate indeed, but maybe it is something. So what has he got? He's got two pawns and knights. If I come, if I just come back, um, what then? If I just come back, pawn there, takes here, 
knight, knight here check, come up, and another knight here. So it's a little bit risky, but what else do I do? So king here, pawn here, king takes knight, knight here. Oh god. I mean, surely it's not mating. Um, but I've taken up the defense here. I, I need to come in here. Yeah. It's definitely nerve wracking. So I'm expecting knight here and knight here. But he's only got one pawn, so, yep, because knight here would checkmate if I went there. He's got knight takes bishop though. Okay. Got to be slightly careful. Okay. Um. So he's attacking my queen. Um, uh, queen takes pawn looks like it mates, but I just can't calculate it. So I'm just going to go rook takes pawn. Um, let's try and defend the king. I want to get in on this square. God, this is nerve wracking. I mean, worse come to worse, just sacking everything should mate, but. The problem is finding it in time pressure. He's going to try and defend the square. So bishop, just put a pawn here. Bishop here, take it. Bishop here, pawn here maybe, but then he takes the pawn. Sack the queen, maybe. If he does bishop here, what then? Do we go for the queen sack? He's got one second left. He flags. Click on analysis. Um, knight at b1. Yeah, just going with the queen first. Queen takes d2, knight takes d2, 
Knight at c3, of course. Knight at c3, king e1, rook c1, and takes d1. Of course, I knew that was mate the whole time. Um, just a simple knight here, and then mate with the rook and knight. Uh, whereas at the end, it was starting to get hairy. Oof, okay. Uh, good games, Flourish. Uh, I'll put, oh, I'm going to add them to the Crazy House 960 study. Uh, um, and this is the first game. I'll run that also through the, the analysis on the site. Did I miss, did we miss anything else? Oh, definitely missed something else here, apparently. So I wasn't winning at all in this position, even though I thought I was. King takes d7, rook d4, check. Defending the sensitive d3 square. Pawn at d6, pawn at e6, check. King takes e6, and he does have enough. He does, I mean, those three knights are actually dangerous. Um, yeah, god, that was stressful. So that second game was very stressful. Um, it's always fairly equal, maybe a slight advantage. So let's see, was queen e6 correct? No, queen e6 was not correct at all. Just get the rook out of the way to g5, which is my original plan. I just thought it would just defend, maybe, but okay. That was a good plan, just put pressure on g2. And back in the first game, um, what was the situation here? So obviously this was completely winning at the end, even though I took a while to find the mate. So I was obviously missing a mate in two. So king g4, knight takes h7, blocks, pawn at h3 is checkmate. Instead I went for this, this. So mate in three. Oh, there's a mate in two I missed here as well. King takes f7, knight at h6 check. The point being that if he comes forward, queen at g5 is checkmate. So you leave the g5 square for the queen. And if he goes king to e6, you're queen e5 checkmate. So leaving the square free. Okay, that's a really important message. Uh, knight takes d2 is the big error in this game. Knight takes d2, yeah. This is a very tight game. Knight takes d2 just to just ignore all sorts of threats. Knight takes g7, the fact that knight could be taken later and so on. Um, cool. Okay, see you guys next time. Um, this is signing out from pychess.org.